small. And welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the Barry Peatling Sports Show. And welcome to you to Colin Sutcliffe and all my viewers in Australia and around the world. It's a very, very nice day in Chelsea. Very pleasant indeed. Now before we get into the, the main sport of the day and that is cricket, we want to talk about... Uh, yeah, that was a few, about 18 months ago. Oh, a few before. more than 18 months ago. I think yeah. June the 10th, 2009. 2009. 2009. So it's only six years ago. Yeah, that's right. What, only six, that's only right, six yeah. years ago, when you went up there, local celebrity up in um, the Horsham area. Yeah, actually, I rang up uh, Murray Lawson and the Horsham Mail Times to find out if I can pick my side in the 60s. He said, come up there and I'll organise it. That's Murray Lawson. He's still alive up in Horsham too. So you're watching this, Murray Lawson. You're the man who got me to uh, get that, bit, bit of, that story put in the paper. So that was a big full page spread, a back page, front page and full page spread at the time and you went up there and you talked about the, the team of the 60s yeah, I and uh, the whole it? rundown of the team um, yeah, pretty good article, if it? you want to there are previous videos with more information on this you can look, look is, up yeah. on your Barry YouTube where we pulled the team apart yeah um, but, uh, you can just name the captain the vice captain of the team well you had Mike Sybin Mick Sybin and you, Pandip, coach his cap Pandip. captain and then you had um, Mr. Uh, Barry Peatling as the vice captain. I was vice captain, yeah. Was and you were a good two IC, two OC, good at sort of taking well orders. Well deserved, Colin. It was. You good uh, at taking orders. Yeah, sort of. And Go there and good quick. At, good at giving them too. Yeah. Okay. So that, so that leadership. That was a pretty good. And then actually that paper was uh, one of the fellows that reporters rang up the week later and said, Barry, we sold an extra five hundred copies. Extra five hundred copies. That's unbelievable. And um, so you had it. There's a little bit of. There's a photo there of Mike. Who? Uh, Frank Fitzpatrick. Um, Mike Fitzpatrick. Uh, it said Frank Fitzpatrick. It said Colin Wilson there. Colin and Wilson. There he played for Captain Melbourne. He was yeah. first ruck, I think. And you selected him as part of your team as well, first ruck. Yeah. Good football first player. He's still living in Washington. Still there. Yeah. And you got Robert Dunlop, Ian Morgan. Good side. Charlie Tui. Very good. He's one second over. Related to the, the Sydney player. Billy uh, Werner Tui yeah. probably is. Maybe, yeah. Not a very good common name, that. Dinny. Dinny Lindsay. Dinny Lindsay won two brown lane medals up there. Not, not brown lanes, but uh, what was the medals up there? Uh, Tui medals. Where's Warwick? He won three Tui medals. He's sent out back, isn't he? Max Woodward, yep. Max Wood, fullback, best fullback in the comp. And Ronnie Kemp, he was a superstar for Horsham on the wing. Yep. And Daryl Helen for Dim Bull and halfback fling. Morris Marks. The painted Aborigine. Superstar, Morris Marks. So there we go. That was a, that was a big trip you did six years ago now. So it just seems it's like yesterday. Eyes. Just see, this is where, when you're uh, very early on giving your videos, when you hit the video the stream YouTube. of YouTube, the YouTube yeah. world. Well, I must tell you too. Yep. The last three days, can you believe it? We had five hundred hits. Five hundred hits. Five or well, sixty-one thousand. Now it's sixty-two and a half. Sixty-two and a half thousand. Wow. But it's mainly on the, uh, the South African cricket. Yeah, it's very popular. 18 months ago. Very popular. That's amazing, isn't in it? South Africa. Of course, Jonah Lomu died. That was a big, um, one of the, main, the most best. That fellow was a super, 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 star, super well. duper star. He was the best rugby player I've ever seen. Yeah. Up the nail. Kidney disease. Now. Kidney, was it? Yeah, kidney disease. Had it since 1995. Now that's a little bit from yesteryear, yep. and we'll get more of that as the year goes through. But Barry, we're going to talk about the headline, which yep. was upset. You're predicting an upset. I am. I'm predicting that New Zealand will win the next, the last test. It's the last test, isn't it? Yeah, it's a day-night test. Pink ball and all that. Yeah. And all that uh, I think Mitchell Sparks, Stark will be pretty hard to play. And I'll tell you what, you're going to miss Johnson, but they've got Patrick Patterson. He's going to be... Patrick um, Patterson. That's his, name. his first name, Patterson? No, Patterson? I don't think so. What's his first name? Patterson, anyway. I think anyway. his name is um, Pattinson. Is it? He's a fast bowler. You, you're Victoria. getting mixed up with Pat Cummins, Patrick Cummins. No, 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 I thought it was Patrick, yeah, Patrick Cummins, yeah. Yeah, so... Well, he should be nearly on the side, too. Pattinson, but maybe even Andrew, Siddle. Andrew, is it Andrew? Siddle. No, Siddle. Think, Siddle. You know, you, you've said it confused me for a minute, but I, I'll remember his name, but it is Pattinson. Was it no, that's Patrick Cummins, yeah. yeah uh, Pat Patton anyway, Cummins. he's filling. He's coming in for Mitchell Johnson anyway. It's oh, good. I reckon Siddle. No, no, I think he's in. They don't like Siddle. They don't like Siddle. Siddle's on the outer. Yeah. He's only thirty-one. I oh, know, but he's on the outer. He's a very good bowler. Good Victorian bowler. Um, well, they're both Victorian. They're both from the Dandenong Club. Him and Pattinson. 
Um, well, so you're predicting the upset. What's the reason for well your I upset? I just think that uh, New Zealand is just starting to get their mojo working, and plus they've got all these good batsmen, and uh, and Warnock, you can't rely on Warnock to make his time at every time. And uh, I do think that uh, they'll, they'll make too many runs for, for uh, Australia. Yeah, a little bit of news last night. New Zealand played a um, practice game under lights with the pink ball. And Bit in early, are they? Yeah, Guptill, um, he... He'll make 100 in this team. Yeah, he, he, he hasn't been going too well, but oh he, got, no. he got 100. Well, he, he, he got 100. Little steering right up. Yeah, he got 100, he, he likes the pink ball. Um, of course, Mr Williamson and Mr Taylor and uh, the other fellas will, uh, I reckon they'll, uh, they'll cut the bowling attack. McCullum got a quick 550. Oh, McCullum, he's, yeah. he's, he's due for 100. He's due for a cut loose, and he loves the pink ball, they love the pink ball. But, um... Why do they love the pink ball? So I don't can know. Better, can they? Something like that. And the day, it should be an interesting concept to watch cricket at 10 o'clock at night, local um, test cricket. Is it starting Thursday, right? It starts at 2.30, Friday. Friday, oh, it's a one day time. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, it's 2.30 and it'll go all the way through to 10 o'clock. 10.30? Yeah. Yeah. So that should well, be Well, that will be a novelty. Will be a bit, bit interesting. It's your premium watching time. I'm a bit, bit, well, too, late, right. bit too late for me. It's too early for me, yeah, too, yeah. 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 Well, that should be very interesting because it, uh, well, pink ball, uh, we'll test at night first ever. Sounds yeah. Well, Barry, Pe- Barry Peterson has to make a um, <laughs> has to make a uh, an apology. Peatling, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I said it was Patrick Patterson, but it's James Patterson who has played. It's not even that. It's not even that. This is James Pattinson. Well, you, well, Barry Peterson. Well, they, uh, yeah. The way you pronounce it, but. James Patterson. That's right. It's spelt very. As I said before, we come in here. It's spelt a funny name. I mean, Pat, Pat, Pat Tinson, yes, not Patterson. Like anyway, that's him. Another pattern. And he's played 13 tests. And he's a very good bowler. The fellow on the radio today said it's his first test. So that's how much he knew. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it when they do that. They come off and they that's give disgusting. you all these. You've got to get your get facts your right. facts right, like people. Here. Like we, get we get facts so, right. So here. you reckon he's going to replace um, Johnson? Mitchell Johnson? Yeah. Is that a, the Mitchell Johnson um, retirement? What's the I thought it was a bit premature of himself. Mm. I thought he got to finish the series. Yeah, he, he's lacking a little bit of pace. Um, but yeah, well, you've got to go when you've got to go. Well, he's you? getting carved around a bit in the last couple of games, but uh, everyone happens to happens anyway. But I thought he was finish the series. But uh, look, he'll, he'll make a, he'll be a millionaire in another twelve months. All these uh, oh, big bashes, big bashes and stuff. Big bash and whatever. Yeah. IPL. So you reckon um, he can, uh, James Pattinson can... Well, I reckon he'll fill his shoes, yeah, he'll fill his shoes because he's, uh, he's got a lot of figure and a lot of pace. A lot of vigour, but he likes vigor, to hurt, likes a baboom. Hurt, baboom, yeah. He likes to hurt people. Yeah, he's got a bit of gut. A bit, bit like, of uh, and he can bat too. No, he's all right. I, I like him. He's, uh, I thought he was a bit stupid enough to be playing the last couple of years. It's interesting how the last three months the Australian team, cricket team, has just totally changed. It has, yeah. yeah. I mean, we've got... We've got some good young, like Josh Hathaway, what's your name? Uh, Josh Hathaway. Josh. Hazelwood. Hazelwood and, mm-hmm. uh, who's the other fellow we got there? Good Stark, Hazelwood. Oh, Mitchell, we've got, we got the best fastball in the world. Mitchell's. Did you say he's going to be down for? Mitchell Stark. No, he's going to play. going to play. Yeah, he's the best fastball in the world, mate. Well, uh, but I still think that the Kiwis will just get under the Australian's guard and uh, get the money in this. The forecast of good weather, is Um... Yeah, it's going Adelaide, to be okay. Yeah, Adelaide's pretty dry. It doesn't rain out there, must it? Yeah, pretty dry. So it should be pretty good weather, and it's going to be uh, afternoon. And I reckon I'll probably get about two dollars, two dollars fifty kiwis around that. You know, the first two days are sold out. Yeah. Yeah. For Adelaide. For Adelaide. Uh, naughty. Yeah, because of the pink yeah. balls and the naughty. yeah, yeah sold out in the three well, third, the, people, the third day is almost sold out. A lot of people can't go to the contest because they're working. Yeah, so, and, you, and so the crowd will probably come in after five o'clock. Yeah, so after, I think also that they're going to change the sessions, so they're going to have two their, hours. So that they'll start at two Lovers. o'clock. Two o'clock, no Adelaide, right? And at four o'clock they will have the the tea session, the twenty minutes, right? Oh yeah. And at six twenty, six twenty, they'll have the proper dinner session. Tea. Yeah, for tea. So the yeah. corporates. Cause of course the corporates love it because they can go to the Oval and have a full lunch at 12, 12.30. Oh, we're going to cater for them, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Really and good. then start the cricket yeah. and then have a dinner there at 6 o'clock. Oh, look, it's going to be, uh, I just say, that's probably why it's booked out for the first two days. It's an opti. Can it save Test cricket around the well, world? Well, we'll have to wait and see. But if it's, uh, I, no, I think it might be, 
I mean, the weather's going to be it's going to play a big factor because mm. it's late at night. Mm. Although it's summertime, and uh, they're worried about the pink balls laughing. Well, they probably have a half a dozen spares there, wouldn't they? Yeah, and the kookaburra has not been going so well. Well, they've been they've been making cricket balls the last 120 years, kookaburra. Yeah. 120 years. Yeah, cracking well, up. What are they going to do about that? Cracking up. They won't be too happy about that. I want the pommy balls coming out of here. Is it made in England, is it? No, the other pommy balls, the Duke ball. You heard of them? No. Duke make this ball called the Duke ball. And they're, in they're, England? They're saying, England people are saying, they should use only the Duke balls out. They do a little bit more, the Duke balls. I thought balls. they use a cricket ball over in England. Nope. They've got their own cricket And in balls. India have their own cricket balls too, these sort of other balls that are different. Well, there you go, I thought they always used it. No. Everybody in the world used only, cricket balls. Only Australia, New Zealand and South Africa, I think, use... Kookaburra. Kookaburra, and then everyone else uses different. Well, it wouldn't affect you using uh, Indian or Pakistani cricket balls. Yeah, they're made out of, what, concrete or something? Or they're made out of, probably, glue. There's glue. That's glue. why they, they glue do glue weird, weirder stuff over there. Now, <coughs> there are restrictions for cricket balls. Now, that's the cricket Pretty news, accurate. and we'll have more updates on it next um, next Monday. Next we'll give it a no doubt. Monday, yeah. Any more news on Chelsea recruits, Barry? Well, there's a couple of more, a couple of more unofficial fellows are coming down. I'm what, what's to that? They started training, didn't they, on the twenty? Twenty. That's coming up this they week. They started last week, I think, last, Did on twentieth. Right. My birthday's on Wednesday. Sent some flowers and presents to me on Wednesday. If you like, when you were we looking. Eighty-four. You don't look a day over eighty. No, that's no. right. Yeah, it's a. Uh, Birthdays come in pretty quick, don't they? They get quicker every year. But uh, what was I talking about? Uh, what was I talking about then? You're talking about the new recruits? Oh, new recruits. There's, there's a couple yeah. coming, but I, I, try, so I, I might go down next week and have a look at uh, Mr. Uh, James Brain, the new James superstar. Brain. The Brain. The Brain. Uh, he'd come from Avon to Murray and mm. Shepparton, and he played up a little bit. But bit more about him on the road. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll get some updates. We need some. We need you to go down there and press the flesh. Well, I'll just uh, cast my little eye over and see mm. if they've got any they can jelly smell of good football across. Mm. Mm. But at, uh, at the moment, it's starting to sound start sounding a little bit better than it was last year. Yeah, oh, that's good. It's promising, isn't it? Mm. Um, so there we go. So th that's a little bit of news from the um, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea Footy Club. Cheerios, Barry. Cheerios, yep. Yeah, beg your pardon. <coughs> Aaron Carla, their uh, power's been on for 10 days in a row, which is a world record. Maria, my darling little Maria, and Nicole, and May, and you, Sal. Haven't heard from her for a week or so, but she's talking to her today. And they're very clever, they, they, her daughter. She's got three daughters, they're very clever. Yeah. She's got a very clever grandson, too. Smart kid. Of course, PH, Sandy and Carlos, uh, you ring me up, PH, where do you think he's going in two weeks' time? It's Canada. No, no. Canada. Him and Sandy and Carlos are going out of Canada. Yeah. He rang me up last night. Yeah. Uh, that's things going, PH. Uh, Jerry's uh, get cut, he's downloading some very good music for uh, PH on the on his uh, CD or whatever it is. But, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right, it was Elvis Presley. Mm. With the backing of... Classic. Philharmonic, Philharmonic Orchestra. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Jerry is downloaded on the Phil, Phil's PR. Uh, yeah, illegally. No, it, <laughs> he's downloaded onto his CD or whatever. Yeah. But he, I said, how's it sound? It's, it's, it's Elvis Presley's music with the backing mm -hmm. of the Philharmonic, Philharmonic Didn't Orchestra. Didn't he get the approval of the Elvis estate? And, and Phil reckons it's fantastic. Mm. I mean, yeah, the, the Jordan Ayres. The Jordan Ayres mm -hmm. is his band. The yeah, yeah, the Jordan Ayres. Jordan Ayres. Mm. So that should sound pretty good. Yeah. Next time you ring up, you have to put the stereo on and hear a bit of a Elvis with the Philharmonic. Philharmonic. Oh, Mr. Bear. Back in him. Should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, as I say, I just mentioned he's going to Canada. Yeah, that's. Have you ever been, have you been overseas? Been overseas? Yes, New Zealand. I was born overseas. Ah, so you've never been out far from New Zealand? Yeah. You've been overseas or Australia, so Yeah, you? this is overseas. Yeah. But uh, it's cold out there. Well, people okay. might come and protest me. And, and tell me to go back home. They might too. Yeah. But Have rallies. The PA just telling me that because he doesn't like the cold. I said, Phil, mm. it snows over there. Mm. He said, oh, no, I'll go up there to the Rocky Mountains and all. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, that should be interesting holiday PH, but he'll be 
He'll be giving me a ring on his birthday, aren't we? He brings up every year from his birthday. He's been doing it for years, yeah? Mm. Never miss it. Mm. Speak your own Wednesday, PH. So that's all we got for today. We had a bit of a bit of a muttering around, of cutter, cu- covering yeah. a few little things around. Names, got a few name issues. A few name droppers, and yeah. I'll cut that side there, the best of the 60, it was... Uh, very good side, yeah. Very good. That was, hot. That was front page, front page back, back page, page, and the middle page. Yep. Some all beautiful fellow hasn't played football since 1967, up there. Well, yeah, all over it. I'm yeah. a pack of dogs. But anyway, that's all we've got for today. It's bye for me. And it's goodbye for me. See you next week.